Hi, I'm Scott at ediblemusic.com. I was in a workshop session this morning and I got a great question about phantom image and how it involves your mixing practice. When you think about it, when you're mixing on your monitors, and especially when you're mixing on headphones, but when you're mixing on your monitors, that's a very unusual way to hear something. Usually if someone is sitting across from you or if you hear something off to the side, your ears, your brain will be able to locate where that sound is coming from. But when you're mixing with two identical sound sources in front of you, it instead sounds as though it's coming from in between the speakers. I want you to try that out next time you're sitting in front of some speakers, close your eyes, and you'll notice that it sounds as though it's coming from right in front of you from between the speakers. That's phantom image. It extends between the speakers and outside of them a little bit as well. But we don't hear it as though it's coming from those sound sources, which are the speakers that will be over here. It sounds instead like it's coming from the middle. It's a little bit like, you know, those stories where someone has seen a figure of someone in a slice of toast or something like that. It's there, but it's not there at the same time. It's present, but it's not present. And this is really important for your mixing because there is a reason why we tend to put the vocals, the snare, the kick, and the bass guitar in the center because that will help them to sound bigger within the mix, whereas the things that are panned to the left or to the right will sound a little bit smaller. However, they'll also sound a little bit more detailed. So it adds some excitement when you have some things happening on the edges, but it also enables your mix to have a good, powerful, clear balance by positioning the important parts, the most dominant parts of the mix right in the middle. This takes advantage of how our ears and our brains work. When you're sitting in front of your monitors, you'll hear from one speaker directly into the left, but then it takes a little bit longer to reach the other ear and the signal will also be filtered out a little bit because it'll hit the side of your face. And same with the other side, the, that ear will hear from that speaker most directly, but it'll take a little bit of extra time and will be filtered a little bit by your face so that it sounds a slightly different in each ear, but because it's coming from both, your ears will be able to kind of correlate and your brain will correlate. It'll sound then as though they're coming from the middle because the signal is identical, is hitting identically to each ear. And this allows you to take advantage of this illusion that creates the phantom image by positioning dominant elements in the center of your mix and the program elements that you have in there, the arrangement in order to add some more rhythmic detail, some more dynamic detail, those can be moved to the sides where our ears will be better able to locate them. And then those dominant elements will be able to remain in the middle. The phantom image allows you to approach your mix with contrast between the center signal and the side signals. The side signals will sound a little bit smaller, but a little bit more focused, a little bit more detailed, while the center will sound bigger and more forward for you. You can contrast the elements that are out on the side with the elements that are out on the middle, and that will help to not only extend that phantom image outside to those areas outside of the speakers, but it will fill up that central image and will also help to create a really nice sense of depth, all using a strange little illusion on account of how our ears work. Try it out. Have fun.